see, you know, they know they're they're going the wrong way, and they need they have time to correct themselves and get ready to get some momentum and feel good about themselves going into the tournament. Flames wearing the black uniforms with, of course, the nod to the Chicago lineage with the light blue and the stars. I dig the look for the Flames. Jamie Hale digs that look for the Flames as well. Did not handle it. Neither team turned the ball over too terribly much a day ago. Each team with 15, right around the average for IUPUI. Burke walks the tightrope to save that one. Still plenty of time on the shot clock, especially for that young man, and he picks up where he left off. On the uh, jump stop, it's a nice hoop. Flames had four players in double digits a day ago. All the big names showed up offensively in yesterday's game. Burke, what a basket cut. The assist of the Persian. Try to front him if you can. And if you get caught in that situation, you've already given it up because he's too deep. Burke splits two defenders and gets the roll. And then the aim net did everything you're supposed to do except get the basketball. Hey, what UIC has negated Jalen Minette to this point, Greg? How do you guard that? You don't. That's part of the get him started. And you, know, you can't allow him to have such a clean look to catch and step and knock down a shot. His first basket of the weekend for a hail. All but one of his attempts all season long have been from three-point. Mitchell, a teammate last year of IUPUI's Jonah Carrasco at Otero Junior College. Burke off the bounce. Star, where are you going to be? Mitchell goes one for two, UIC 10 of 12 from the stripe, and they lead by a bucket. Burke, three, yes. Nice little play, you know, just a little. A hail in the corner for the lead. Had a good look that wouldn't go. Pretty good look at it. Three-point struggles continue for UIC. Right idea to find Burke. Burke stepped through off the window and scores it. Well, it's a good, you know, good make. Remember that shot big, Greg, is a big thing. Burke got oh an my. A2. Oh, my. No contact. Four of 24 from UIC from three-point range. They have they have clearly struggled the uh, two days trip in Indianapolis. Burke for three, got, got fouled. Him and got him afterwards. Get three for Marcus Burke. Third time today that UIC. So of the 15 free throws, <laughs> I hear what you're saying. I, and it's, again, we all have pet peeves. That's one. Get ball for the Jaguars. Didn't stay down. Did not stay down. And Manette on the sidelines currently for IUPUI. Goss plays with three fouls for the Jaguars. Well, now, you know, the question you have is when do you, when do you bring – Manette back and uh, my goodness, Burke with 20 range, he's missed them both. In case the Jags haven't uh, recognized it, there's a whole lot of time left. Burke gets around to Hale, steps around Commander, <laughs> and gets the basket to go. Diggins gives it a try, and Burke will track it down, and now. <laughs> He'll go on the attack against oh, the hail right they here. Got him on the charge. So Goss returns with four fouls. Burke returns with what he's been doing ever since. He mode. You're just hopeful that you can get somebody and not get hurt on the three. Now UIC's got a couple of fouls to give her. I'm kind of wondering if they'll start thinking uh, about using them soon. Yes. Can't do that though. If Burke's going to beat you <laughs> the bucket, and Burke can go. Commander will pull from three. That does not go, and Goss adds to his rebound total. By the way, UIC now 7 of 34 from three-point. Well, he's going to enjoy some steak today. <laughs> and the origin of that stool last year. Right, right. And, again, Marcus was in fantastic shape, but was told, hey, one thing you can work on is Higgins the put back. And then Burke is fouled. A little chance to add to his pings. In one sense, IUPUI will be helped by the fact they in the full 20 league games. 16 is the max they can play. Uh-huh. And Burke makes them both. 